Hello and welcome to another episode of Unboxing with Paul. And today I'm very excited to bring you Technos TH300, an indoor rotating security camera. Let's take a look at it. You can currently find this on Technos Amazon shop for about $43, so less than half the price of a ring camera. And yeah, $42.99. However, unlike a ring camera, this is able to give us 350 degrees of motion as well as 170 degrees of vertical range. So this thing is gonna be able to move basically almost any way you want it. It's gonna have just a small, small spot where it's not gonna be able to turn or rotate to, but on that, it seems to be pretty mobile. Let's go ahead and just look at um, our packaging real quick. It is very nice, very glossy pictures, uh, with telling us that it's a very simple setup. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get this open. One of the great features about this camera that I thought was interesting is that unlike a ring, this camera offers a whole 2K resolution as opposed to the 1080p resolution that we would normally get in a ring camera. So twice the resolution of what, again, we would get in a ring camera, which is twice the price. Uh, let's go ahead and see what do we get in here. I said, let's see. And let's see what comes in the box, if we can get the box open. Okay. And it says we have a power adapter, a power cord, a manual, as well as an installation package. Okay, let's see what all that's about. So included accessories are, okay, we have a wall adapter, it's only a five watt wall adapter. It's only a very, very weak by today's standards wall adapter, as well as having a, what looks to be a fairly long type A to type C cable. This thing's 10 feet long. So it comes with a 10 foot wide USB-A to USB-C cord. Okay. And we also got a little user manual. Seems fairly extensive, okay. So it's a little QR code, I'm gonna guess for installation purposes. And let's see what is this. I'm gonna guess this is, yeah, mounting hardware for you to be able to put this on there. So this is our mounting hardware, you guys to be able to see as well as um, our little screws. And here is the camera itself. Okay. So again, I'm, I'm very much comparing this to a Ring camera and not only because Ring is the industry leader and it is the most popular camera that we have in today, uh, it's also the camera that I happen to have at home and it's something that we use all the time that we use every day and it's a very useful thing. It's a very useful product that offers so much peace of mind and it's just good um, to know that your house is protected and all that, you know, there's always uh, an eye you know, at your house or that if you have packages being delivered, you can see that the packages will in fact be delivered and nobody will steal it. And if somebody does steal them, at least you'll know what happened. So you're not gonna be left wondering what the heck happened to an item or to something that was on my front door. Okay, and again, here is the camera itself. It is, it's a very nice looking camera actually. It kind of reminds me of Eve from Wally. Um, with its white and black motif, as well as just just the whole design language, this is, it looks it looks very nice, it looks very modern. And again, keep in mind that the whole purpose of this is that it is it's supposed to be able to rotate a full 350 degrees. So from there, it should be able to rotate and go almost on a full circle. Besides the rotation that it has, it also has vertical motion as well. 170 degrees of vertical range. Um, um, I'm, not, I'm not sure why. Do you guys see that though here? It goes from that to that. Why, why would you want to like rotate it in on itself? You see that like it's looking on the inside. Anyway, that, that's a little odd. Maybe once we fire it up, it's going to unlock and maybe it's going to spin all the other way around but anyway that's that's no good this is this is unusable at least um once it gets to about there the remaining motion or the remaining range of the camera wouldn't be very useful 
We do have a sticker that says, please remove the insulating film before using. Let's go ahead and peel that off. And again, just very, very beautiful looking camera. It's very nice looking. It looks like we have a pinhole on microphone at the top as well as having our SD uh, slot right in there. Here we go. Here is the lens. Very, very beautiful looking lens with again a pinhole microphone right there as well as having a slot for an SD card. So what I do like about this device is that unlike a ring camera, this one is able to move around, right? Um, you are going to need an app in order to be able to control this, in order to be able to interface with it. And again, something else that I do like about this that isn't present in the ring camera is that this is supposed to have um, six infrared LEDs as opposed to just the two infrared LEDs that are present in the ring camera. There you go. So that's the time, I guess, that it makes when it is powered on. All right, so you will need to download the Techno Smart Home app. If you do not download that, you will not be able to use this device. And I'm trying to set this up as quick as I can because that annoying beeping is not going to stop. So once you have the Techno Smart Home app, you have it downloaded. Um, it's, you're gonna click on Add Devices. It is going to search for our device. It is, we're gonna try to add it manually. Okay, yeah, this thing is on. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna have to enter in our Wi-Fi. Oh. Wow, I don't know if you guys saw that. So, after we put in our Wi-Fi password, um, it asks us to scan a QR code. I'm not, I'm not sure how that went. Okay, it has made a chiming noise. It says it is adding it. It is telling us to keep the network stable. We did have to read a QR code with our camera itself from our phone, which is a little odd, but it, it worked. So it worked, and then this is the camera. And let's see, okay, okay. Oh, wow. We can see ourselves alive. Okay, okay, that's full screen, okay. Once you're in full screen, you can... Oh, that's so cool! Woo! Okay, okay. Wow, that's so dope. Whoa. I'm gonna have, that's really cool. Yeah, we can aim it down, we can aim it up. That is so cool. I, how do I show you guys this? Okay, so once the app is enabled and once you are on um, the camera app, you can literally control it as if it were a video game. You can tap it down, you can tap it left, you can tap it right or right and then left. Apparently I don't know my way around. And that's actually, um, that's pretty usable. Like, holy cow, I, I don't know. I guess I just didn't have much faith in this. I wasn't expecting it to work as well as it is right now, but it's it's usable, it's pretty usable. Um, oh, yep. I mean, it's not, it's not a 4K camera or anything like that, it's not. You're not going to be recording your, your next stream off of this or you're not going to be taking selfies off of this. But as far as the security camera goes, that looks pretty solid. Tell you what, let's go ahead and test out what this looks like with our lights. So let's see what it looks like in a low light environment. So we're going to kill one of our lights. So it's still, it's still fairly, fairly good lighting. Okay. And then let's go ahead and... kill our other light. So, there we go. That looks so good. What, what, okay, what, why? Okay, so I don't know what is causing the infrared to trip up. I think maybe when perhaps the light coming off of our cell phone um, on which we are watching it is causing the LED um, or the infrared LEDs to be tripped and to be turned off, but that is crisp. Look at that infrared. Here's where I'm having a problem. So this this camera tracking thing is great, right? But if we keep pointing it down, here you guys are gonna see this very, very soon. Keep pointing it down, keep pointing it down. You see that? You see that? 
me see. That is a lot. That is, I don't know how to measure that. I, I do know actually. So in reality, this is more like um, 135 of 135 degrees of usable motion because yes, it is able to rotate like so, you know, it is able to go um, up and down. It is able to rotate. It is able to have vertical motion. However, that vertical motion winds up being a little bit useless when, if you guys can see, it just closes in on itself. So I'm not sure what that's about. And we do have the option to toggle between standard resolution and high, re high resolution, high definition. And we are able to, I guess, you know, talk to the other person in case, you know, this is hung up on our door and we do have motion section, we do have motion tracking, and we have a lot of features that actually do make this a pretty full featured camera, in my opinion. Um, again, let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts on this camera? Well, do you think this is gonna be replacing your ring camera or my ring camera anytime soon? Um, and as always, thanks for watching.